hello everyone welcome back to another video on crack concepts in this video i will show how you can make a pattern like this with the help of a with the help of a query okay uh, so basically one asterisk then the second line will have two asterisks the third line will have three asterisks and so on and this which this is a tricky question but a very easy question we will be using lpad over here and if you do not know what this function does, I will add a clip where I'm explaining this function. So as the name suggests, LPAD means left pad and RPAD means right pad. So whenever you want to add padding to a string towards the left side or the right side is when we use these functions. Let me show you all the syntax. The syntax is same for LPAD and RPAD. So let me show it for LPAD. So the first thing is string. So what is your string? You can either give a column name over here or a string itself to, I mean the string to which you want to add padding is going to come over here. Then the second parameter is length. What is the length going to be after you add the padding? And third is the LPAD string. So whatever you want to add as padding to the string will be written over here. So this is a string to which the padding will be added and LPAD string is the, the padding string which you will be adding to the, towards the left or right hand side of the actual string okay so this is the syntax for l pads the same syntax is for r, r pad as well so let me show this with an example okay let me write city over here and then i will write l pad okay um the string to which i want to add padding is this column i'm going to be given column name so I will use this column city and the length has to be say let's say it's it has to be 10 and the padding string will be asterisk okay now I'm gonna run it now look at this uh, let me give this a name okay okay so this was the actual string Berlin okay and asterisk okay this is added as a left padding so asterisk will be added to the left hand side of the actual string which is berlin so as you can see asterisk asterisk, asterisk. and as the length is 10 so only four asterisks will be added and in this case no asterisks were added because because the length was 10 and it was already 10 the length was already 10 so as you can see over here over here you can see only two asterisks are used so the total length has to be 10 okay. okay now let's begin with writing a query to make a pattern okay now first let me show you all the table that i will be using i'm using this table called customers okay and this customer has customer id customer name correct contact name address city postal code country what i am interested in is these numbers one two three four five six seven now if you ask me why because my each row has uh, like for example the first row will have one asterisk second row is having two asterisks third row will have three asterisks so i can use this customer id to get that and i will show you all how okay i will be using lpad okay and then uh, what is the string to which I will be adding my LPAD string, it's going to be asterisk only. I'm not using any other column. The length has to be equal to customer ID. Okay, I'll explain it to you all just in a bit. And the LPAD string, the string that is to be added is again asterisk. Okay, okay. Um, from customers and I will also add this over here customer id is less than say five when i say less than five it means it has to be equal to six or uh, e equal to four and when i do this as you can see the pattern is here how now this is our string this is the actual string star then we have the length which is equal to customer id so the first customer id the length will be one which is why we have one asterisk over here you uh, as you know the second parameter is for length now here the customer id is 2 so here the length will be 2 here the length will be 3 here the length will be 4 and this is what we are padding it with asterisk so 
this is how we can make a pattern using a very simple lpad query and i think this was pretty easy also instead of using customer id you can use row num also but i use customer id just to just for the ease of it and if you all like this video you all know what you have to do like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time